Uh, well, here we are again, six days later. Uh, having determined that the display cable would not support the full HD resolution, I went on to the internet and found the correct HP part number for the full HD cable, which by the way, there are four different models of display cable that you may have depending upon the type of processor and uh, screen resolution that you have. So, it's a little bit complicated, but I found what I believe is the correct one and ordered it. And $65 later, yes, for a cable, uh, it is finally here. Uh, I did pay for expedited shipping and ordered it last Thursday. And after six days it got here, even though expedited is supposed to mean same day shipping and one to two days of transit. So I uh, hear they're going to refund my shipping costs due to the fact that it took longer than it was supposed to. Anyways. Yay, and through the magic of simply not filming that part, you have traveled through time and now the screen is out already. Wee. Okay, so, um, so this is the old display and webcam cable. And look in the goodie bag that we got from HP Parts. Let's see what we got. Alright, so have a new sticker for the front to replace the one we tore up to get the screen open. It is awesome that they include that. And then this here cable. So what we have here is something that is labeled Colossus 15. LVDS cable 50.4 ST10.021 Rev A01 High Tech HIGH dash TEK parentheses KC A1 and parentheses 13 slash 03 slash 21. So, um, so that is apparently HP's full HD cable for this thing. It's probably some cheap Chinese cable from somewhere. I'll look it up later in order to see how much I overpaid. Um, but I did get the sticker! Um, I gotta go feed my cat. Give me a second. Okay, my cat is satiated. So now, um, I guess the thing we gotta do is some exploratory surgery. Because this... Um, Cat's throwing up. Okay, the cat vomit is cleaned up. And I killed a fly. What was I doing again? All right, all right, okay, so exploratory surgery. All right, so we gotta figure out how to, because these cables, the display and webcam cables, which are a pair apparently, since this that they gave me, this new one, has both. Um, they go underneath this guy here and connect to, presumably, the motherboard graphics card output somewhere, so we need to figure out how to get to that. So let's open the service door. This is the customer service door. One that presumably doesn't void your warranty to remove. Um, I guess that I have voided my warranty with regard to the other things I'm doing. I know that in order to replace the keyboard, I had to take out the ROM drive. So, so let's just take out the ROM drive since I know how to do that. Oh, great. That's right, my other cat is still locked up. I better go let him out. And yes, we have to have that cat put up every time the other one vomits or else he eats it. Okay, so we're gonna remove the ROM drive. Yes. Why removing the ROM drive? Well, because you have to in order to get the keyboard out. And I have a hunch that we may need to remove the keyboard in order to get to the graphics card. So there are two screws for the keyboard. I'm unscrewing them. And there's this horrible thing you have to do to get the keyboard out. It's very unpleasant. I'm about to do. 
which is there's this little white tab. Yeah, this one here. That you gotta it's basically just push and kind of make it sound like you're breaking the thing. Yep. Oh, it's so unpleasant. It actually looks like there's a lot of connections. Like, it's a lot of motherboard connectors that are exposed when you pull off the keyboard. A hunch, perhaps one of these is the display connector. It's about the same size as that one. This guy over here seems a likely candidate. Connector looks the same. Well, I guess I'll take these screws out and see if perhaps this panel underneath the keyboard comes up just from having these five screws removed. Three screws? Five screws? How many screws? Three? I see three. You know what, let's take the keyboard out completely. We're not gonna screw that up. being the display connector, but I have to get this tray up somehow. And I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna poke around the internet a little. Well the disassembly video I just watched online seems to suggest that you have to take up out every last screw on both the bottom and the top in order to get that top piece to come up. It would seem that the tray underneath the keyboard is not separate. It is one piece molded together with the entire top frame of the keyboard of the uh, laptop. So what am I doing now? I am taking out every last screw on the bottom, including, this assembly video showed me, these two screws here, which are in the ROM drive slot. Guess those have to come out too. Hopefully the top will come off now. Like magic. It's not coming off like magic. Uh, what I miss. Yeah, I'm basically doing a complete teardown of this laptop to replace the display cable. Oh. oh, of course, it's another thing that has to be unsnapped. Here it is. Lovely unsnapping noises. Yay. So you get to do more unsnapping destruction. Ooh. So terrifying every time. Doesn't seem to want to come up around the touchpad. Oh, I just unplugged something accidentally. I think what I accidentally unplugged was the power button. So our display cables are here. And these are taped in. So this little bracket they go under. And they're taped on top of this thing. And run to. Yes, the connector that I thought they were running to. So that's good. 
sort of don't like the way that this isn't. Okay, well, you know what, I, I gotta, just got the thing out, so whatever. Um, okay, so. Subcam connector and this new webcam cable has like adhesive pads to stick everything down to the same places they were stuck to before. I suppose it isn't surprising. I really don't like having to bend the frame like this to get access. I keep unplugging this. Stupid power button cable. <sighs> Once again, don't like working on laptops apparently. Right, I mean, I'm not even supposed to know. Okay, okay well, to reattach the keyboard. Let's connect the display, get that put in. And then do a power up test just to see if the screen works. See if I have that display connector connected right, because I gotta say, at this point, it's a total crapshoot. I really couldn't tell if it was on there right. Here's a 40 pin connector. New little sticky thingy. Holds in place. It's pretty cool, I guess. Sticky thing there. Stick that to the bottom of the screen. He seems to really like sticking things to other things. Which I guess makes sense because it seems like in this crazy laptop world, sticking things to things is how a lot of stuff is put together. Alright, so my power button ribbon appears to be connected. Keyboard's connected, so we go. I'm going to put the battery in. Eek! And hit the power button. Oh! Wow! The screen works! Okay, cool. I guess it's plugged in right. So, battery out. Ooh, I'm excited. I didn't expect that to work. <laughs> um, power button cable back in there. Let me get the display cables routed. Do that ridiculous hinge connection thingy. Click this thing down or something, just like you have to do with the top one, right? Of course. Yep. Okay. It's a snap, snappy, snappy, snap, snap, snap. And basically, it probably screws back in. I get the speaker back in place. Um, bezel. Right. Okay. 
Okay, so one thing to look out for here is that the um, the speaker cable on the back side has this nasty tendency of sneaking out the underside of the the thingy. You can see it here. That's the speaker wire. We don't want that to be out. We want it to be inside the bezel. Alright, all the screws are back in. It's all put back together. I just haven't put this bezel sticker on yet. I just want to maybe clean some of this junk up so that it applies nice and even. But Power button. So there's still something on the screen. That's good. So there you go, people. It worked. So after six days of waiting for the display cable, it arrived. I disassembled practically the entire computer, put it back together, and then here we go. A functioning full HD display. Ta-da! So you too can do this if you are as insane as I am and are willing to go through all that. But at least you have the guide. That would be this video, right? So, cool. Anyways, uh, peace out.